I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I don't know about this, how I feel about this lighting. I'm in my living room and it's like kind of dark, but light at the same time. I'm trying to use the natural light. I don't know, whatever. Anywho, um, okay, so obviously I don't have perfect skin. Uh, obviously by this pimple that I have on my cheek right here that I've tried to conceal, but nevertheless, it's still there, of course. And you can't just zap away a pimple in two seconds and pretend like it's not there. And I know I shouldn't use concealer over and I know I shouldn't do these things, but I do them anyway. Of course, like any other girl who's, I mean, you kind of like stuck between a rock and a hard place when it comes to pimples and you're trying to wear makeup and you like can't like not conceal it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, like I just feel weird. I don't know. Whatever. I feel like I'm rambling. Anyway, but because I conceal them, I do, I take extra precautions to kind of somewhat be safer about it and somewhat less like clogging of the pores when I, um, when I do put makeup over my, um, pimples and acne and stuff and like, see, I have, um, like bumps on my forehead. Y'all can see them. It's like little, little tiny bumps, um, on my forehead and um yeah so i don't have like perfect skin or anything but um and i honestly feel like lately i've this all like these bumps on my forehead and and, and stuff have just came in usually I, i've never had this before it's really weird and i'm starting to get some uh pimples around my nose like not even pimples just like you know how you can see them emerging like you're like oh like crap I feel and I see these pimples and I know they're about to pop up in like two days but that's what's happening around my nose area right now so I'm like whatever anywho um, so okay back to the point because of this I think it oh the reason why I feel like I'm having all this right now is because I uh, for like four or five days I was exfoliating every day in my dumb self of course I think I'm just you know cleaning the you know I'm getting my face super clean you know I'm feeling it tingling and I'm feeling it you know really really getting the oil off my face because I really tend I, I tend to have combinations so um, a lot of my products I've, I've exfoliating has become like my best friend because that's really like it gets on a regular basis like if you use it right and you don't do it too much it works awesome because it does get your face super clean it gets rid of the dead cells and it's like a really really clean rather than um just like washing your face with soap or something like that um but anyway uh so the exfoliator that i use um is saint ives okay this stuff is amazing. I love it. I love St. Ives. I love St. Ives. Not only because it works really, really well, but also because it's 100% natural exfoliants. And Sally Silic, is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm in college. I should know these things, whatever. I'm not in biology or chemistry. I hate science. Uh, anyway, yeah. It's that, there's that, and it's oil-free, and uh, the one that I have is naturally clear, and it's uh, dermatology, uh, dermatologist tested, 100% natural extracts, um, formulated without parabens and phthalates, I don't know how to say that either, but the no paraben thing is awesome, because I think that's an ingredient that they say actually can lead to cancer which is kind of scary because honestly like tons and tons of like cosmetic products and lotions and all that stuff have parabens in them. If you use it a lot, um, it could lead to like serious problems like later on. Also, sometimes if I'm feeling real, real like I'm pampering myself, I'm doing a deep conditioner in my hair, I'll do um, a clay mask and this is the one that I use. Uh, I just started using this one. Um, I used to use, because this one is like a cream, and it's like pasty almost, like when it dries, like it's, it's blue, and when it dries, it dries like hard, and then when you add water, 
it kind of dissolves and it's done. Um, for my cleanser, um, I use this Finishes Even Tone Cleanser by Clean and Clear. And it's oil free. And honestly, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good cleanser. Nothing special. I mean, it's not bad, but I'm sure there's better out there. I think this um, I take my makeup off with these towelettes from Target. I mean, makeup remover towelettes. Honestly, I don't really, those towelettes, I don't, I'm not serious about, like, towelettes. Because I, I really don't wear that much makeup anyway. So I don't need, like, heavy duty, like, this has to work, like, amazing for it to work for me. Like, no, I can get, I have bare minimum and it's fine. After I cleanse or exfoliate, whichever one I'm doing, um, I will use my C Booth Tea Tree Therapeutic Toner. And I got this uh, from Ulta. And I really love this. Like, I, I really like it a lot because it's um, usually when you use toner, uh, you, you spray it. Well, it, with, in this case, I would spray it on the cotton bomb, then I would wipe, my, wipe it on my face and wipe all the excess dirt that the cleanser didn't um, pick up. Even better if you just spray it and don't even um, wipe it off. Like you just let it soak in your skin, which that's what I do. I never wipe it off and I really like it. I love toner. Also a toner that's really, really good, Witch Hazel. It smells like crap, but it works really, really good. I remember when I was using that stuff, I never had pimples, like ever, because as long as I used it at night and in the morning, I was good to go. I didn't have to worry about it. I just ran out of it and I wanted to try something different. All this stuff you can get at Walmart except this you can't get at Walmart. I, well, at least I haven't seen it at Walmart. You might be able to get it at certain targets though, I think. Maybe. I don't know. But I got that from Ulta. Everything else you can get from Target or Walmart. And then um, spot treatments. I've used um, On the Spot by Neutrogena for the longest. Like, I've used this like eight years. Like, seriously. Like, since I first started getting pimples in like fifth, sixth grade. Is that eight years ago? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, this stuff works really good. It just takes a few days. Um, if you put it on, like, but I'll, what I used to do was after I cleaned my face, I'll put this out, and after I toned, I put this on the spots or whatever, and then I leave it in, and then I put my moisturizer on top because I feel like this is kind of like a barrier between my makeup. So even with this still on, my spots under my makeup, my makeup, my pimples aren't getting even more clogged than they should be or whatever so I really like this stuff but I'm trying this right here it's pretty much the same thing it's a spot treatment but instead of being 2.5 uh, benzoyl peroxide like it is in here is 2.5 this one is 10% so I did I literally just got this a couple days ago and I'm gonna see how strong it is um, and I, I, I don't know who on YouTube said, but when you use this, you should only do it at night because it get, it can make you, the spots flaky, which is not a bad thing because it means it's like drying out your pimples and getting them to go away. But at the same time, you don't want to put like makeup and stuff over it. So um, like not putting on moisture. I don't know if you can put on moisturizer or just not on it. I don't know. But whenever I've used it, I only used it last night. And it really didn't do much because I don't think I put enough. Last but not least, my moisturizer. I, again, St. Ives. I love St. Ives. If they had a whole, like, if they had, like, a variety of products, like, available. Like, whenever I go to the store, I only see their exfoliator. And I barely saw this. I thought they didn't have a moisturizer because every time I looked, I couldn't find one. But then I found this, and I was like, yes, because it works really really good with my skin like the way the exfoliator and this goes together oh I love it I love it um it's collagen elastin facial moisturizer visibly reduces fine lines and wrinkles I really don't need that because I don't really have wrinkles at this point but it's a really good moisturizer um I like it a lot and um it's not tested on animal animals and it doesn't have parabens also so it's good I like it a lot and that's pretty much it for my skincare. Um, um, this video was kind of long, honestly. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you y'all enjoyed it and you guys take something from it. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.